So you're looking for the best Facebook marketing software? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you the number one tool to automate your Facebook marketing. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you get value at any point in this video, be sure to smash that like button. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or if you have any questions. And with that being said, we're going to jump right into today's content. All right, so we're going to jump right into the software. So if you look on the left side of the screen, you're going to notice that there's a couple different tabs that are over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through them so you can understand how this software works. And then if you see value at any point in this video and you feel like this can help you there's a link down below it's the first link in the description that's going to actually give you a free three days to actually test this software out all right so with that being said let's jump right into the tab so if we look at the first tab you can see that that's the home tab so that's where we are currently right now now when you first get into to get the software and you log in they're going to ask you to log into your facebook so as you can see it says log into facebook i'm actually already logged into facebook right so then after you do that it's going to bring you here now this page is meant for you to actually pick a time frame that you want the software to figure out okay who has it engaged with me in this time frame so as you can see it goes from seven all the way to 365 days so for sake of time I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the seven days and I'm just gonna hit start scan now depending on how long this takes like if it takes too long um, then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of skip it ahead uh, and then we're going to kind of progress throughout the video. So let's just see how long it takes and then we'll go from there. All right, so you can see it's checking likes and comments. Okay, boom, there it is. So once that sound came, then I knew that I'm good to go. So now you can see it says inactive friends and these are inactive friends over the last 24, I mean over the last, not 24, seven days, right? So now I have 24 of those people. Now what I love about this, right? And it's, it's definitely different than softwares that I've used in the past. So what I can also do is if I do like a conversation filter, then let's say for instance, these people haven't engaged with me in the last seven days. What will happen is if I do a conversation filter and then I say, okay, let's select a time duration uh, to see who have I spoken to in the last month. So they, they may not have been engaging on my post, but I want to see at least if I've had a conversation with them, at least I know I've spoken and versus just looking at the post. So what it's going to do, um, it's going to take a few moments to kind of go through it, through it, and I may actually just kind of skip it through um, depending on how much time it actually takes. All right, so you can see right there, it just gave me the sound. Now you see it went from inactive friends 24 to now inactive friends 11, right? So instead of just looking at the post to figure out, okay, have they been active or not? They look at, okay, let's look at the conversations. Had they at least had a conversation, which I think is actually powerful, okay? So with that being said, what you would do is you would click on the people and then you will hit remove selected. Now, I speak with these people, um, you know, pretty often, so I'm not gonna actually uh, do that because I, I hadn't been that active on Facebook in a little bit, so I'm not gonna actually go ahead and delete them here in this video, but I just wanna show you exactly how it works, um, and it's definitely gonna benefit you as far as your Facebook reach, so that's how that works. And then all you're gonna do, like I said, is just hit remove selected, and you can also do a safe list, so if you don't wanna get rid of your mom, your sister, your auntie, and people like that, you could actually just add them over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to the post friender. So the way that the post friender works is this is how you're going to grow your Facebook profile full of targeted people, right? So you can either do only friend requests people who live in the USA. You can put that setting on before you actually go to what we're gonna to go to here in a minute. So if I click on, on open Facebook window, it's gonna open up Facebook, and then as I continue to scroll down, you're gonna notice on certain posts, a little red box is gonna come up on the interaction, right? So let's go here. So you see this little red box? What I would do is I would click on that, 
Now, of course, I wouldn't use American uh, American American Express posts to do it. I would actually go find targeted posts with people who I want to attract, right? So that's that's really the 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 best strategy, and I've used that strategy multiple times to grow businesses that I've been in. Okay, so here we go. Mutual friends only, right? So if you only want to friend people who have mutual friends with you, then you could just turn that on right there and then hit the start button, right? And then after you do that. All it's going to do, right, I'll just show you real quickly. I'll hit start. You see it says friend request count one. And then what it's going to do is it's going to go through and then just keep going through and sending out friend requests, okay? And then you see how easy that is. You can see it's actually taking place. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit stop because I don't want to add, you know, really people from this post. All right, so that's how the post friend works, right? And so you always want to do this with targeted posts. So for example, if you're in real estate and a real estate ad comes up or you know something that's revolved around people who are in the real estate industry and they're probably going to be interested in that type of post, you want to pull those people in. And this is real estate is just an example, but just look at what industry you're in and then use that to be able to use this tool effectively. Now they have the member friender, okay? So these are all the groups that I'm in, right? All of the groups. So what I can do is I can go into these groups. This is why I said you want to be laser targeted on who you want to attract and bring in, bring into your Facebook world. So let's use the, the real estate example again. If you want to attract realtors, right? Maybe you want to help them generate more leads for their business. Well, what you can do is you could just go in real estate groups and then you know that there's going to be realtors in there. You could literally go click on the group. Let's say that you're in the group, right? And then you could click on, let's say that this was the group right here. I would click on friend members and then it's going to bring me to the group. And then literally what I could do from here, it should pop up here in a moment. You see where it says friend mem friend group members. I could just hit start and it'll go through and it'll start friending people who are actually in that group. Okay. Now I'm not going to actually do it here, but the same process that it showed you for the post friender where it just started and then you saw it doing that process. That's the same process it's going to take for the uh, friend group member. All right. So the next thing is the mass messenger so if you want to kind of start to automate that process a little bit right and you don't want to do it manually then what you can do is here you can type the message that you want to send all of your new friend requests so I can go in here and hit add message so let's say I want to say hello and then I want to use a tag let's say I want to say their first name so as soon as I allow this to send out it's gonna say hello and then fill in whatever their name is on Facebook I wouldn't recommend using their full name because I mean typically people people don't say the full name hello like for example myself hello Rakeem Addison right that that just doesn't that just doesn't seem personal you know what I mean so you could do first name hello first name let me go ahead and take that out okay so boom hello first name and then I can hit add message and then what I can do is I can send from I can send messages to all the people that were recently added and the software is actually gonna know who was actually add it you know quite recently or you can send to all but I really I really wouldn't recommend that all right and then you can also do in time frames so people who are added in the last 24 hours last seven days last two weeks last month last three months right you can choose and then you can send how many friends you want to send this to now as you can see here it says no more than 30 cent messages per day recommended so if you decide to use this tool and you go over it and something happens to your account that's that's not their fault because they gave you the 30 day recommendation. I mean the 30 uh, cent messages recommendation. All right. And you can also do time frames. So 5, 15, 30 or 60 seconds. OK. Between every single message. And then what you would do is you would literally hit send message and then it's going to go start going through that process. So that's the mass messenger. Now the message remover is just as it sounds right so it's gonna go through and go through your messages and then you can actually remove the messages that you no longer want um, you know the people who you no longer want to conversate with you can go through and just move the messages so it's an automated process now the inactive organizer okay now what's gonna happen when you actually do a scan right which was the first thing that I, I showed you how to do 
then the people are going to show up right here and then you could just click on them and then you can hit remove the selected people so that's how that works and then now the group inviter all right so now what this is doing is just looking at all of the groups that you're in right these are all the groups that i'm in and then these are the, all of the groups that i'm an admin in or the owner of right so what it's going to do is it's going to take people let's say i want to grow my group uh, let's just go ahead and go with the realtors again. Let's say I want to grow a group full of realtors because I want to help them generate leads, right? Well, I could take the, the the people from this side, which is the groups that I don't own, and I could send them an invite to my groups over here, right? So it's pretty powerful. It's definitely an effective way um, to start growing your groups, okay? All right, so that's the group inviter. Now we're gonna go to deactivated, profile, deactivated profiles. So the thing about Facebook algorithm is that if people aren't engaging with the stuff that you're putting out, that's hurting your reach, right? And so with that being said, you want to get rid of deactivated profiles and people that are not engaging with you. That's going to boost your reach, right? And that's what you want when it comes to Facebook marketing. Now, I want to show you real quick because there are settings to all of this. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you leave it how they have it, right? I wouldn't touch anything because they know what it is that they're doing, right? They created this software so they know it, all right? So you want to keep the settings the way that they are. That way you can go through this effectively. So with that being said, hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're ready to get started with Social Prospector Pro, uh, you can test drive with the first link in the description down below. That'll actually give you a free three days to test out Social Prospector Pro. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.